Clock Crossword here, and it's now Futura time, Scotty Cameron Putters. Serious MOI, big shapes, let's get stuck in. So I've got the Futura range, um, lots of different shapes and sizes, counterbalance, all those kind of things. We've got Scotty's notes here if you like, or Titleist's notes, it's multi-material multi technology, allowing for bigger heads, more MOI weight placed on the outside, outer rims of the club. That's going to help the putter have resistance to twist. Enhanced alignment options, heel toe weighting, again that's the MOI, vibration dampening systems, and a magic at all grip size. So we get the face and the sole wrapping around, same material, so the face and the sole are the same. We're going to get a feel from this face, low and high, middle toe, all those kind of things, which are going to stay relatively consistent because it's not an insert, it's this wrap around, which is quite clever. We get weights at the bottom, which you can't change, factory set, all built around the whole weight of the putter. Getting lots of different shapes, so we've got two kind of mallets here, one with a carved out black insert, one which is just all silver all round. Probably the most famous one here with the two ports right at the back really increasing MOI obviously Adam Scott makes that one popular and then we get these straighter ones as well also with the weight ports all got that and all got the wrap around at the bottom and the face we're gonna collect some data with the sand putt lab in a second just to show you if I can feel any difference or measurable difference between them just first initial thoughts you know, I feel like these are putters that are gonna really resonate with people who are thinking line-up lines, who have thoughts of stability. I mean, look at them, they're like spaceships. The kind of ideas of them twisting as you move and miss strikes is gonna really play into your mind that this is gonna resist it. Especially when you start moving into this bracket of putter where you get the weight really off the back of the putter head. So in effect, this is the same putter, it's just one's gonna, in theory, I would presume, have a higher MOI. Again, how measurable that is, I think you'd be looking over a season rather than on like two or three putts. These putters make me feel like I want to putt in a certain way, they make me feel like I want to putt a little bit more upright, a little bit more straight to straight. And we're going to talk about the importance of fitting and what you want to get from fittings when we measure with Sam. Now my least favourite is definitely the SMB, Futura SMB. I'm not sure I'm digging this shape at all. It does remind me of the old kind of Ram Zebra putters and I do feel like I could putt with this. Makes a slightly different sound, because I presume there's this hollow in there, so it does sound like a little hybrid a little bit more off the face. Well, if I compare that to the Futura 5W, yeah, this is a more solid, less tingy sound. I prefer this over that, I prefer the looks. I definitely prefer, in turn, then the sound stroke feel. So apart from this one, all the others here are giving me a very similar feel, but maybe slight variations in how I would want to stroke them, how I would want to stand to them. Let's look at some of the measured numbers when I try, say, this one, one of my favourites, against, say, my least. Right, both putters calibrated, so we're going to start with the MB, 5MB, and let's see if the numbers differ between that and the 6M. This is one I feel like I wouldn't want to putt with, and this is one I feel like I do want to putt with. Look at this one. Future of 6M's turn then, definitely my preferred shape and looks. looking at the numbers of the two you can see it's 0.3 difference in aim at the beginning and I would argue that I would find Adam Scott version so the 6M in my mind feels easy to aim up but on those putts it's not so much the case you've got to remember this is a straight putt you're gonna get left to right to right the less downhills uphill where aim will differ as well it's just kind of a basic test to show you what you might look for in a fit and then again if you look at deliveries at impact it's 0.3 it's 0.3 of a degree difference so 
really measurable numbers on those two on delivery of face and aiming of face it's next to no difference there's so many more parameters you could look for in a fit as well which without blowing your heads off you know if you're going for a good part of fitting they will explain that to you but the important message for me is how much my preconceptions of what I want a putter to do feel and look like in my hands kind of overrides nearly all the measured data I think when it comes to measured data with putters you'd be looking for a season rather than just five putts to really see any noticeable difference now don't get me wrong the importance of putter fitting is massive as I said I'm only looking at aim and delivery of face at impact you've got stroke where you strike it on the face I've seen that vary with different putter heads from player to player but that's the big key it's player to player rather than any specific rules then you've got lofts and lies as well that could all be move around in a good fitting I just think for me as well what's going to override and it should start to for you a lot more hopefully is that a fitting is a chance for you to confirm feels confirm ideas oh i think i put much better with x y or z and try and find out why that is a fitting doesn't always have to be just a purchasing opportunity or an opportunity for the fitter to sell you a product it's a lesson as much as it's anything else i mean i don't do fittings anymore i only do lessons and that incorporates looking at people as equipment as well for me to choose a shape a feel a sound outside of what i want would have to show massive measurable improvements if there was next to none that you can see there isn't in those two putters for me why would i not go with the one that i like the sound and feel of the most the weight ports at the bottom and outside are all good factory set but helping with mois and that's great and this putter does feel high in the moi stakes i feel like with long putts where i might start varying my strike more it would really kind of kick into play i love the wraparound idea that makes perfect sense in my head i think it gives you a more consistent feel part in every part of that face and it's a scotty camera it comes with that feel of excellence and craftsmanship and design doesn't it and I think that's where this one loses out for me because it doesn't feel so much Scotty Cameron because I don't like the look of the shape. But again, that's me prefer my preference rather than a given. And I'm not so keen on this sound of this style of putter. Then if you're going to buy into Scotty Cameron, obviously you've got many different options from the centre shafting. So you've got also the same head here in the counterbalanced option. It's going to cater for every style that you want from your putter or are looking for. You get a more... Um, they're still there the red dots in the back but they're not as predominant because they're hidden a bit more within the casing of the putter but you do get some of the classic Scotty Cameron branding that lots of people are after and I do quite like this little mallet shape I think the most important thing for me from putters is that you do go and get fit and you learn some of your tendencies with your stroke that would be the biggest breakthrough in getting something like a Scotty and then maybe that's where a counterbalance compared to a set of shaft compared to lineup lines no lineup lines a more rounded shape will kind of just prove to you that you can get a little bit more out of your putting if you're just dialing all those little aspects but it's going to be tiny little measurements tiny little improvements that might add up to two shots in a year ten shots in a year half a shot in a round those kind of ideas for me future range is nice it's good it's not what i think about when it comes to scotty for me i want to go more classic in that newport kind of range that select range but they're here for people i think who want those bigger MOIs, bigger looks and kind of that variation on that classic putter design isn't it especially comments down below what do you think is it a putter you would try yes or no let me know